the situation might be when Hyman Rose tries to talk business with Pennywise. Well, if you do business with a German state-funded institution and German government, be prepared for the most absurd situations in your life. This country must be a mad joke. If they did this with each other within the border of Germany, it then might be okay. But the problem of here is we bearing the losses because they don't know what seriousness, laws and the regulations are. In 2012, as a partner of a German state-funded university, TH Wildau, I visited a private school in Beijing to promote the German academic program. And here, one young lady asked me if Germany a Nazi-type country. At that time, I thought she is just too stupid. How can she ask a question like this? But after eight years, I started to rethink her question. Everything we have done within the legal framework. I must remind you about this. Let's do not forget that Professor Umwari was not only worked together with Chancellor Merkel, but also with Steinmeier. By the way, he also visited the President of Hungary And allegedly, Umwari also met Vladimir Putin of Russia and also met Queen Elizabeth II of England. So if he said that everything we have done within the legal framework, will you believe him? Including that, he asked me to break our contractual obligations and arrange him a visit to a Chinese massage salon in the People's Republic of China. Or that he demanded money from me with a German state-funded institution email, which powered by Association for the Promotion of a German Research Network. Or that he falsely claimed that one of his friends in Porsche is a great boss and he will appoint this boss as honorary doctors in exchange to arrange a half of million euro business for my company. I have no doubt that Umwari represents Germany because Germany pays him, German authorities approved him. No matter how incredible his words were, I had to believe that in Germany this can be unquestionably legal. After 2016, I was forced to keep me together with this German state-funded university. I was disgusted by all the figures there. They don't know what a reading agreement means, they don't know what contractual partners mean, and they continue to do sickly their own business while watching the valid agreement as air. The German state institution leaders, signatures and seals mean a piece of shit. Ungwari pretended that this agreement doesn't even exist and also he doesn't think it's worth arguing about legal issues because for him those are just seemingly things. Because as he told me in Germany, it is normal if you pay cash into the pockets of officials, without that business won't work. That would be the normality in the democratic and rule of law Germany. And his colleagues were not better than him in any level because Ungwari signed the agreement in the name of the German state-funded institution, but these German professor doctors figures translated it as Ungwari signed the deal in the name of himself. I have had experience with those Chinese people who are living in China and they can counterfeit anything to make profit and money. And they don't give a damn about intellectual properties or fair game. But the fact that in a German state-funded institution, they would have approached to a written agreement in such brutal way, I never thought this could happen. I, as a businessman, suffered damages mentally because these Germans took the belief away from me that a business could be conducted here in Europe normally and without those insane level of corruption. And in principle, Europe and North America are the brightest part of this world with democracy, free speech, but what I have experienced is a brutal, raw, inhuman system. 
In 2017, I found out all of our partners are tired and I was exhausted from this mad brute Germany as well. Despite that, in my hand, I had a valid contract with a German state-funded institution and I was full with German professor doctors. I knew in my heart that I would have done much better if I had done business with an illiterate villager. In the summer of 2017, Ungwari came to Hungary and I invited him to a Chinese restaurant here in Budapest. And I told him that it's time to compensate my company for the non-performance of the cooperation contract, whether he will stay as president or not. I warned him that a written agreement is a sacred thing. And I wasn't polite to him. I told him that if he and his German state-funded institution start to breach a written agreement and expect that wouldn't affect them, he is badly wrong. And I asked him to write a open public tender, we would be happy to operate representative offices for TH Wilder in Kuming and Hangzhou. And the 1 million euro operating cost should be paid by the German state-funded institution. I told him that this would be the most elegant way to finish the previous year's madness. Ungwari said that this would be okay, and by the way, he said that he would most likely stay as the university's president for some more years. And he did not forget what he promised to me in 2016. And after his re-election, then he will get rid of his vice president colleagues who had just harmed him. And just to imagine how this German state-funded institution was brutally madly managed, in a sense, some weeks after from the Budapest lunch, Ungwari suddenly informed me about from 2017 a new colleague named Claudia is responsible for the language courses which was managed years long by Mr. Ingo from EBA Networks. You know, this is the company that had the right to give guidance to the official Teach Wilder workers. And Ungwari did forget to mention this when he enjoyed the Chinese food in Budapest. Meanwhile, he also forgot to inform this new colleague, Claudia, that by the way, my company and I were responsible for their German state-funded institution operations in the People Republic of China. And after three years from the agreement signing, I had to send T.H. Wildau and my company's contract to a T.H. Wildau's worker again. I can't beautify the situation that has happened in the last three years. I think it completely exhausted the concept of fraud. And the fraud was committed collectively by a German state-funded institution. And my company was just writing a mad story for this modern Germany after the Volkswagen scandal. A little later, I sent him the draft which he previously agreed and would have expected him to write his opinion. But Ungwari did not give any answer, and it seemed to me that he changed his mind again. For me, his mind operated like casino roulette. He no longer wants to remember that we had an agreement here in the summer. And of course, he also forget that in 2016, he promised me in an official email that after his election campaign, everything that didn't fulfill will be fulfilled. And damn it, it seemed I wasted through years from my life with who is Germans, who West Germans, how a Bavarian is not a German, just the problem is it had nothing to do with business. Because it had nothing to do with business. Just these flippant German professor doctors unable to figure it out that they are playing with a German state-funded institution's reputation. So, not long after, I emailed him that our 2014 contract badly breached and we should negotiate what to do. But it turned out that this Ungwari is just as uger as he showed himself earlier. Until the taxpayers pay him, 
he tries to take some responsibility but if he no longer stay in position he immediately overturn the table since he could no longer remain as president of a german state funded institution ungwari no longer wants to play the civilized person I doubt that a new president who is a German woman couldn't be worse than Ungwari. Therefore, at the end of 2017, I wrote my company's letter to all the three German vice presidents. In it, I listed what they didn't fulfill according to the agreement, and of course, I expressed that we do not insist continue the partnership, but we ask to start a negotiation about our losses. Our negotiation partner could be anyone except Ungwari because as i described Ungwari suffering some memory loss and surprisingly none of the three german vice presidents was capable of writing an email response so good faith is also an unknown concept to them and what could i do i can give you a ride to bells a little diner about five miles down the road they got a pay phone you call a tow truck and you have to log out What the hell are you doing, buddy? Well, I was trying to get you to pull over. Didn't you see me? Yeah. Well, <laughs> never mind. Listen, I, I, I'm looking for my wife. What? What? I turn to their superior body, Brandenburg Ministry of Culture and Education. Here, relatively soon, a written response came from the department head named Dr. Nicole Muni. She asked me to be a little bit of patient because at the moment the university is under a president changeover period. She will talk to the university and I can expect a response from her anyway in November. I like that. This nightmare would slowly end and generally in a normal country this business adventure ends. The Brandenburg Ministry of Education invites me to ask what damages I have suffered and let me show them our evidence. I agree on the amount of compensation and later the provincial ministry handling this case with Ungwari and his colleagues as Germans with Germans. But unfortunately, this is Germany, a European country with the darkest past in the world, where even killing a massive amount of people with toxic gas once was an ordinary event. For a dispute to be resolved legally, you have to believe that your case is in a country where the rule of law prevails. But there is no doubt in me that the rule of law does not govern this German republic. And I'm already beginning to understand why Ungwari signed the contract with such ease as it contains that in case of a dispute, German law should be followed. I had every reason to assume that there are no laws and regulations in Germany, so Ungwari was not afraid of the consequences. And now listen carefully. In 2018, I tried to ask for help from BMBF, you know, the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, with a new budget of 19 billion euro and led by Anja Galicek, Federal Minister. They actually were in our written agreement as a central point in the obligation list. And in their answer, they told me that the BMBF BF is not responsible for my request and they suggested me to contact the MWFK where I wasn't able to receive an answer since 2017. And what the Bible did say, a good tree can't produce evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree produce good fruit. I never meet such bastards like these Germans in my life, a whole country based on bastard. Not only goodwill does not exist in these Germans, but an elementary school level of goodwill is also missing from them. And I fully understood why Germans are portrayed in an extremely evil way in those Hollywood movies and why a BMW car owner commemorated his own BMW car publicly as a protest. 
this Ungwari behaved exactly like this because it's their habit, you know, seemingly legal issues. And at the same time, the new president, Yulik Tipe, did not fulfill any of the obligations either. Although our contract would only expire by the end of 2018, this Yulik Tipe did not even want to pretend that they were trying to fulfill their obligations under the contract. And could a German business story be even madder? Yes.